Another InDesign Quick Tip by Fatfly Design. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create an interactive form in Adobe InDesign and then export it as an interactive form so that you can open it up in Adobe Acrobat and anyone can fill it out and use it. So here's my finished form in Acrobat and I have these text fields that you can type in. I also have check boxes that you can check. And then I have a submit button that you could click on and that would send this form in an email to whoever you specify to send it to. So how did I get to this point? Well, I worked here in InDesign and this is my finished form in InDesign. I actually started with this form here. This is a traditional printed form and you know we have lines here for people to fill out their names on. They can check mark these. We'd print these out and people would fill them out. Well, what if you want to go paperless and you want a interactive version of this form? Well, here's my starting point. So what I did is I cleared out these underlines and I cleared out these checkboxes here. And so this is going to be my starting point and I added a submit button down here. Now what I want to do is take it from this to this. So let's look at the steps on how to do that. I'm going to zoom in here just a little. And I'm just going to grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a frame here for someone to type in. And you know, I just have to sort of play with the size until I get what I want. And then I think it's easier to see if I put some sort of color in it. I'm just going to use cyan like at 5% or 10%, something like that. This way when they open up the form they'll be able to see where they can actually type in. Now, this is just a rectangle right now. We want it to be an interactive element. So I'm going to go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. Okay, so that brings up this dialog box here. And now that I have this rectangle selected with my selection tool, it's asking what type of interactive element do I want this to be? Well, I want it to be a text field. Okay, and then I need to name that text field. Now, this could be a bit deceiving. You have to be very careful. There's some rules on how you name things. You can't use any special characters. You can't use any spaces. Um, so my suggestion is to use all lowercase and no spaces. Um, it's a bit deceiving because they show spaces right here, but I'm just going to put name. If you want to, like if I want to put name text field, I need to put an underscore where I'd normally put a space, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Call it name. Okay, my event is on click. That's good. Now I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm just going to hold my option key down, click and drag down. And I need to make this one a bit shorter. And we'll call this address. Now, this is just sort of a repetitive process here. It's up to you, the designer, to make this look good, to make sure everything's balanced and fits right. And this will take me a few minutes to get this done. You know, forms may seem like one of the boring things that you do as a graphic designer. I know they're not overly exciting, but if you've ever used a poorly designed form, you know how frustrating that can be. So it is important that you're using your graphic design skills to make this a very usable form. I need two more of these down here. Okay, now I haven't named all these yet, but I got a couple of them named. Name, address, city, state, and zip. Now the rest of these I didn't name yet, so I'm going to go back and eat, name these. Okay, so I have all of my text fields done. Now let's look at these checkboxes next. I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool again. I'm going to make a little perfect square over here. I'm going to add a stroke to it. And I think I'll make that stroke black. It seems a bit heavy to me. Okay, so just get a box that we like. Zoom in here a little more. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. Bring this back up. Okay, now the type is going to be a checkbox in this case. 
And this is one I'm going to call Art Ed. And the event is going to be on click. And the normal, I want it to be turned off. Now I'm going to make copies of this. Let's position these a little better. I use my distribute features to even those out. Good. And then I'm going to make copies of those. Copies again. Just using my option key and doing drag copies. Okay, now I can go in and name these. Okay, got all those specified. Now we need to take care of the submit button down here. And this is just a text box with the word submit reversed out of. And I want it to be a button. And I'll call it submit. And on click. Now, actions. This one needs an action. And I'm going to submit form. And then I can type in a URL. Now, if you know a lot about coding, you can get pretty sophisticated with this, but I am not a code person. I simply know if I want to this to be submitted through email, I need to type in M-A-I-L-T-O colon, and then no space, and then the email address. I'm just going to make one up here. OK, so you'd put the email address in there. Make sure it's mail to colon no space and then the email address. Okay. Now I'm going to save this. And then I have to go to File, Export. Make sure that Adobe PDF Interactive is chosen. Click on Save and Export. Okay. Now, it's critical that you go in and test your form after you build it. It's real easy to overlook something. Um, I've forgotten before and added a space in one of the names of these um, fields, and it's, it's looked all weird. So make sure you go in and test it. You know, actually come in here and type in each of these fields. Make sure it's working as you expect. Good, all those fields are working. Now mine, I want to be able to check multiple boxes and it appears that I can, which is good. And then click on submit and it's gonna come up and ask you, do you want to mail? So it looks like my form is working as I expect it to. And that's how you create an interactive form using Adobe InDesign. Now, I didn't go over all of the features. There are some other items in here, such as combo boxes, list boxes, radio buttons, and signature fields. You can explore those on your own, um, but these are some pretty common things that you want to use. Good luck with creating your interactive form. Thanks for watching this InDesign quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. Also, if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.